How is child support calculated in Massachusetts? Well, child support is money paid by a parent for the financial support of their child who does not live with him or her. The non-custodial parent pays the custodial parent for um, expenses associated with the child. Those payments help for the child help pay for the child's housing, health insurance and medical bills, child care costs, food and clothing, and educational costs. What happens is there's a guideline that's been produced by the Supreme Judicial Court in Massachusetts. A worksheet is provided by each of the parents regarding their financial situation. The parents prepare their worksheet and the judges reviews the worksheet for accuracy and for equity. Factors that go into the worksheet include the parent's income, their contribution to child care, the health insurance payments and uh, medical payments, including dental and vision, and other child support that may be being paid for other children, as well as the number of children that are involved. All that information is put into a formula and the formula is followed to produce a number, that number being the child support. Presently, the minimum child support in Massachusetts that's allowable is $25 per week. However, in very rare circumstances, that child support level can be reduced or eliminated altogether. The number that comes from the child support can be adjusted. For instance, if the recipient, that's the person receiving the child support, pays a larger portion in the child care and health insurance uh, expenses of the child, the child support can be increased to offset that payment. Similarly, if the payor, that's the person paying the child support, has a greater percentage of paying for the child care expenses, the child support can be decreased in order to reflect that situation. However, the adjustments to child support one way or the other cannot exceed 15% of the guidelines. A court order is generally sent to the employer of the payor. So if it's the father, the father's employer gets a court order stating what exactly the amount per week or per paycheck uh, is responsible for child support. The employer withholds that portion of the paycheck and holds on to it and ultimately sends it to the Department of Revenue, called the DOR. The DOR at that point sends it on to the custodial parent or the recipient. If you have any questions, please feel free to visit us at affordlaw.org and see if you qualify for our reduced rates. We can help.